Hey, what's up? John Sunmez here from BulldogMindset.com. We are going to be talking today about wealth, but we're going to be talking about specifically how it applies to wealthy women. And so, you know, how does that affect, affect you as a man? I got this comment. I just have a screenshot from there. So this is from Chris P. And he says, John, if women are attracted to men with resources, how do you resolve the issue of wealthy girls? Even girls in the average American suburb have more, quote, things, and quote, money from their parents than princesses in ancient times. So are these girls attracted to anything? This is a good question, right? Because in that book, in, in Why Women Have Sex, which is a good book, by the way, you know, the, the title might be a little jarring to some of you, but, you know, don't, don't let stuff that shocks you stop you from, from, from consuming the content, right? You should, you should expose yourself to a lot of, a lot of different things. So a, a lot of the research shows that basically, you know, status, right? So uh, to, to resources is one of the main attraction attributes for females of, of this species to the male, especially in humans, right? It is, and there's a lot of research to prove this. This isn't just some shit that I'm pulling out of my ass. Um, you can observe this in real life, obviously, but it's different, right? And, and one thing to understand, you know, for, for you guys, I, I'm not going to give you the full dialogue on this. If, if you want it, you can check out my, my playlist on becoming a better man and attracting women, which has a bunch of, of, of stuff about this. But essentially, you should understand that there's a difference between men and women and what they find attractive. And it's not just physicality. For men, it's much more on the physicality side. But for women, it is very much on the resources, on the ability to provide resources for the male, to provide resources to have wealth and status. Okay, so that's why we're talking about this in, in terms of wealth. And also, you know, this begs the question for a lot of you guys that are trying to build up wealth, you know, what <laughs> what advantage of that is, is that if, if women already have what they're they're looking for they already have resources they already have wealth so you know does it still help you as a man right that's that's essentially the question and the, the answer is yes it still does uh, for a couple of different reasons now it has changed things definitely right i mean the balance of power has shifted as you can see in society today that women are not as dependent on men for financial well-being and for resources so just having that is not necessarily enough. You can't get away with the kind of shit that you could get away with in the you know 50s, 60s sitcom era where you see a lot of what we'd call male chauvinism today, the kind of macho man type of attitude, which I don't really condemn, con condone on this channel. I talk when I talk about having masculine traits and being being manly. It's it's more about you caring about what you think, not what other people think, and being a take charge kind of person, being a fucking rock, being those kind of attributes, as opposed to being aggressive for the sake of aggressive or, or abusive or an asshole. Even though things have changed, th that dynamic still exists, right? Women are still going to be attracted to men who have status. Status is, is what, what I usually say here, uh, which which is a form of, of, the, of an ability to demonstrate the ability to acquire resources, right? And they're gonna be attracted to men that have resources. I don't just equate it to money, right? Women are not necessarily attracted to just a man who has money, they may choose to mate with or choose to be with a man that has money, but that's not the primary factor. It's the ability to actually, that's why resources is a better term. Status is probably the best term. It's the man who has the ability to acquire those resources, who is respected by his peers, who could be a leader, who is aggressive, who has the ability to basically adapt and to protect and to be uh, the, the kind of uh, person who can always, whatever the circumstances is, they're gonna be the one who survives, who gets the resources, who is able to you know lead, lead the group and to ensure that whoever is with them is gonna be well taken care of and, and survive, right? The, the leader, the aspect, the leader of men type of, of, of viewpoint. This is, I think, a better way to look at this, right? It, it's too complex to be just put into one word, okay? But so with women having money and having access to these resources and wealth, does it change that attraction? No, it doesn't change that attraction. In fact, it makes things a little bit di more difficult for a man in, in some degree because just having money is not enough, right? It's not the 50s and 60s anymore. Just having a good job is, is not enough. 
you have to display some of these other attributes as well. And it's still, it's still the same dynamic here, right? It, just because a woman has money, it, it means that she doesn't necessarily need a man. So she can be a little bit more choosy for the man that she picks, but she's still ultimately going to be attracted to the celebrity. She's ultimately going to be attracted to the wealthy billionaire guy, right? You know, 50 shades of gray, the dominant alpha male. She's going to be attracted to those things, the men that display status, that have wealth, that have access to resources or the ability to acquire resources and take them from other people. Honestly, that's the truth. Even though she may have resources, it's biologically wired into her to seek out those, those kind of men. And it's still beneficial. It's still beneficial for her to be able to find that kind of man to genetically reproduce and produce offspring from that good genetic stock, right? And and that's going to be the, the most beneficial situation. So it doesn't really matter if she has money or not, right? You know, again, like I said, it just makes that her choice is probably a, a lot higher, <laughs> that she's she's going to hold it to a higher level. And so yes, as, as a man that doesn't have resources, you're going to be screwed. Let's, let's say that you've got a, a girl that's a lawyer. Lawyer, like a woman that's a lawyer, okay, and she's making good money. She's making, you know, uh, six-figure salary, easy, maybe you know, two hundred thousand dollars a year. Maybe she's a high-powered, high-shot lawyer, big-shot lawyer, okay. If you're, you know, working at McDonald's, okay, as a man, you can be, you know, attractive, and you could be like have a good personality, okay, and you could even be like physically fit, okay, and you could be good-looking, okay but she's probably not going to get with you because you lack the resources, right? And and whereas before, right? Or or if you look at some woman that doesn't have any resources, maybe from a third world country that's that's poor and you work at McDonald's, you, okay, it, it might be a little bit of a different different thing. For the most part, you know, it, it doesn't really change the dynamic. It just changes the level at, w at which, you know, the choosiness uh, of the woman, which you could say changes the, the dynamic, but it, it, fundamentally the same dynamic is still the same. Women are still going to be attracted to men that are provide resources. And yeah, I know that some of, the, some of you are offended by this but this is the truth this is how it it works there's nothing wrong with this biologically we're wired this way and you can see this throughout you know society if you watch it you can see this and it's not just american society or, or you know you can see it throughout uh, the world so building wealth as a man is it important yes is wealth itself important uh, for as uh, the only attribute for attracting women no does it matter if women have money it, it, it matters a little bit because it sets the bar a little bit higher for you, okay, in summary. Is wealth alone enough? No. It's about the status. It's about the ability to acquire the resources, which can come in the form of being, you know, of, of basically being the guy that's willing to do what it takes to protect those around him, to get what he needs to survive, and to make decisions and be a leader on his own, to be a powerful force to be reckoned with. Women are attracted to that to the status that that a man displays status is going to be the number one thing always which is a good representation of a man's ability to acquire resources and an accumulation of the resources that he already has available to him which showed his ability to acquire the resources in the past if you take a rich guy okay that has no ability to acquire resources is weak is pathetic is not doesn't have status is not very confident is shy is socially awkward is submissive okay a woman may choose to be with him just for the benefit of the monetary but she's not going to be attracted to him okay there's a big difference between attracting a woman and a woman being attracted to you and you know guys i'll, I'll tell you you want the second one you want to actually have women attracted to you not just attracting a woman. Don't try and use wealth. Don't try to just make a bunch of money and think that's going to happen. You got to work on the rest of yourself. You got to be a fucking bulldog. You got to develop this bulldog mindset. You got to develop the ability to actually be a fucking man. So that's all I got for you today, bulldogs. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below. Join the, the bulldog team and become a fucking bulldog. Change your life. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.